was vacationing over in Victoria, so I had the chance to do my morning swim here at Telegraph Bay. Conditions were so nice that I decided to bring my GoPro along and record what I saw as I swam along. Even in the bay I found this small float with a whole host of marine life on it, including some Vancouver feather duster worms, I believe some split branch feather duster worms, and some other feather duster worms, I'm not sure what species they are. I found this quite large fried egg jellyfish that had gotten slightly tangled up in a bit of kelp. The bell was probably at least 30 centimeters across. Here you can see some of the fried egg jellyfish's potential breakfast. And here's a smaller fried egg jellyfish. I wouldn't say they were super abundant. I think these are the only two that I actually saw. Yet more potential breakfast. I believe this is a red eyed Medusa. There were small schools of these tadpole shaped larval fish. No idea really what they are. Despite the lack of bull kelp, there was a um, kelp forest, partly uh, sargasso and partly this feather boa kelp. And everywhere I swam, there were these small juvenile fish. I believe they're some species of cod, possibly a juvenile walleye pollock. Interestingly, I saw almost no perch anywhere around there. And this made my day, an adult silver spot sculpin, unfortunately disappeared just as quickly as it appeared. Here's a leopard dorid, which I read eats sponges, uh, which might be hard to find in amongst all this kelp. And I saw several individual large tube snouts. And here are a couple of gunnels of some species. thicket of the feather boa kelp, I found this large school of very tiny larval fish. No idea what they are. I was surprised to find such a very red kelp crab. Quite a few of these helmet crabs, some quite large. I read they're omnivores, so this time of year they must be eating at the salad bar.
spent an uh, hour in the water and covered a couple of clicks, after which it was time to get home and get on with the rest of the holiday.